Welcome to issue 246.5 of Deadpool Encounters, a podcast about that sweet, sweet contest and lots and lots of Deadpool cards. Here, we take a good look at the... Now, who cares? This is all about that Deadpool contest we ran, so let's just get to it. I am one of your hosts, Steve the Brain Wilson, and I'm joined by Scott Sharkbait Wilson and Daniel... Oh, the glare! My eyes! My eyes! Wilson. How's it going, boys? Fantastic. Great. That's great, Steve. Thank you. I'm sorry. The brain. The brain. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, we're not Wade Wilson, but we're we're still, you know, Deadpool core adjacent. So that's right. Yeah. I fed yeah. so many sharks I can't even remember. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mike's not here. Um, but if he were here, you know what? He'd be wondering and hoping that what, people what would enjoy be? pools giving. Oh yeah, he definitely would be. He would be all about. Making sure that people are happy. Yeah. Because that's Mike in a nutshell. He, he had Canadian pools giving like in October. Yeah. So that's why he's not. not yeah, yeah. So he's not here tonight for this. But yeah. Uh, let's talk about something before we get to the contest real sure. quick. I'm curious, Daniel. Yeah. What's on your mind tonight in regards to things you are thankful for, for Mar- in Marvel Champions? Oh. So I, I have to. I have to. Keep it, keep it narrowed to this. Keep it focused. This yes. this game. Keep it focused. All right. Keep it focused. Well, Steve, I think that I'm really, really thankful that content just keeps coming out, and every new hero pack is interesting. I, I have to pick up my Magneto yet, but uh, mm-hmm. I really like Nightcrawler, and I am really thankful for and excited for Shield and the Maria Hill that I read about. Yeah, she looks great. I cannot wait she to play. She looks amazing. Yeah. I mean, so she I, looks I'm, like our worst enemy. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, no, she be, it's going to be terrible. But I'll, yeah. we'll figure out. I can figure out ways for her to get beat. No problem. <laughs> um, folks who've seen my Valkyrie deck at work know that I can lose. Um, so <laughs> I'm thankful. I'm thankful and grateful to the designers of this game. who Keep doing it uh, month in, month out, and for what's to come. I don't need this X stuff anymore. So I'm excited to get a little bit more earthy. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Scott? Are you thankful for anything in Marvel Champions? You know, I am. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm thankful for Marvel Champions as a whole. But more specifically, I think I am incredibly thankful for how well they continue to capture the themes of the characters, uh, whether it's characters like Nightcrawler. Like the design has just been on point, right? With the BAMP cards and the the popping around to the way that his kit interacts with itself. I think Magneto does the same thing. They've really been growing their ability to integrate. I think the theme and the feel of these heroes and the villains, right? Apocalypse, the four horsemen, these villains and heroes, all of them, the stories of who they are, are just really seeping into the design of the characters. And I think they've always been really good at it. And I've always been thankful for that, but I'm just thankful that they're continuing to find new ways to do that, that keep it lively and fresh and fun and engaging. Maria Hill looks absolutely phenomenal. The stuff they've revealed from the upcoming set with uh, Batroc the Leaper making it in there. They're just, they're really bringing, keeping the fun and the spirit of these comics and the characters alive in what they're creating in the game and i'm super thankful for that how about you steve yeah i'm going to focus in and say i'm thankful for all of the five plus years of work caleb grace has put into the game oh my god mm. we recently got that article right he's moving on from marvel champions um and so i just wanted to say thank you to caleb i know he's listening you're right I can he's out there listening um i want to thank him and those guys who started the game the studio mm-hmm. for like I don't know I don't know how much of a risk it was to take a cooperative Marvel Champions game, but to like <laughs> look at it, right I don't think it's much of a risk, but to like yeah. look at I, it I and think say this that is conversation was short, right? But yeah. here's the type of game we're gonna make. We're gonna try to do these things, and uh, all that time and energy that went into the initial creation of it. I want to thank mm-hmm. uh, Caleb and Nate French and anybody else involved, mm-hmm. Michael Boggs, right? All the My guys. Boggs, yep who have moved on and, and have done it for us. Uh, they are defeated, but not forever because this is Marvel. So I'm sure that they'll all at some point be back to uh, thwart our villainous schemes. So yeah, I just want to say that. 
And I imagine we'll get Caleb back on for one last swan song. Oh, yeah. He's got a whole entire Age of Apocalypse box we haven't talked about yet that he did. So, Mm. yeah, we'll get him on for that. Right on. But I'm also thankful for all the great contest entries for our pools giving, pools giving away, pools giveaway. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Steve, can I ask you a question? Uh, How were you able to narrow all of them down to the top 16? So what I did was I took the thousands of entries. Okay. Yep, maybe yep. not that many, but uh, I run them through a very complicated algorithm. It would put like Facebook's algorithm to shame, right? And it, it narrows it down to exactly what our listeners want to hear and talk about. And so then it just spits out 16 and we're going to talk about 16 entries. That's how I did mm-hmm. it. So the Facebook algorithm, I think just tells me what's happening with uh, Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> or uh look at this marvel comic book <laughs> i get a lot of those <laughs> do you i where where rachel from friends came from in my life i don't understand it but hell ask me anything i think i might know it about her <laughs> so um well let's look at these cards they're the, the designs so, so how do you want to do this steve so we've got scott and i see like the text the card text we, we don't know who it's right. coming we, don't, we don't know who has submitted what i've pulled yeah, out the right. names from it what we're going to do is we're going to we're just going to work our way through these cards we're going to talk our way all the way down uh we'll each read one we'll see what we think and then eventually when we get to the end we will talk about who's actually eligible for the contest because there's some people such as scott submitted entries but said i already have a pack please don't include me in the contest because i don't need more deadpool right they want to have somebody else win it who needs it so uh, and then we'll randomly choose from the name. So really, it doesn't impact. Um, we don't really know who's what at this point. So there's no uh, bias, we'll say. OK, so shall we just let, let's pick one and read one. All right. Yeah, let's, um, let's do it. OK, Sounds great. So I'll do the first one. Here we sure. go. All, all right. right. All right. Meaner swing. So the original. Okay. So what we did, what we asked people for was to pool eyes a card. So we wanted them to go back and look at. Um, all those pool cards from the aspect right, right. where they where where Tony took like a basic card and then put some pool script on it, right, and improved it. So that's what we're doing here. So meaner swing, the original card was mean swing, of out of Thor. So the one cost aggression event with the skill trait and the hero interrupt. When your hero makes a basic attack, exhaust a weapon upgrade on your hero. Your hero gets plus five attack for this attack. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's so a, a plus two bonus from the original, right? Yep, a little extra yep, cost. cost of one. Yep. Uh-huh. All right, so that that's Correct. a yeah. I like the name meaner swing, and then I can already see the next card meanest swing. So uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> a two cost yeah. gives plus eight, right? <laughs> yeah, with overkill yeah. or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, there you go. That's a great awesome. card. I think that's a that's I, a great, that. cool card. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the next one. Uh, Relentless Assault was turned into Lentless Assault, which I like, which is a hero <laughs> action, deals seven damage to an enemy. If this attack defeats a minion or damages the villain, end your turn immediately. Because it's not relentless, it's lentless. <laughs> lentless. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, I do like that a lot. Um, I funny. guess we're supposed to go ba- like base it on the original cost of the other card and stuff, right? But yeah, yeah, because relentless right. assaults a, a two cost, two five damage, That's and right. it could get yeah. overkill. Yeah, so, um, I, I do like the like. Oh, I'm I'm done. This is. I, this I is... love that. It feels very thematic. <laughs> there's, some, right. there's some like creative thinking there too. Like you have to kind of plan your turn to end on that, so you can. Yeah, because you're like not the odds of you not defeating a minion with a seven damage attack. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're either defeating the minion or you're hitting the villain like unless you're punching yeah. a fellow a fellow hero and then by all means have at it yeah yeah go for it yeah. doesn't say anything about that <laughs> well i guess it says to an enemy uh, <laughs> well you um, never know his friends are his enemies that's right yeah. no i do like it i think it's a fun card um i can't wait for you to make all these steve that's gonna be the great part <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that's right um uh, all right scott some you got some cards from yeah, the i'll new take movie. one go ahead So this is uh, from the new movie, which I have not seen. So uh, hopefully there's no spoilers here. 
Oh, the mm. this is from this is adapted from the original Avengers oh. Assemble, which is a uh, four cost uh, event. Yeah, okay, th- okay, it's fine. Okay, and uh, the card is instead titled Avengers Trait Out. Uh, no, no, so or we're taking that out. The card is titled the Avengers Flame yeah. On. The question so mark. we're taking Avengers Trait Out. I see what we're doing. So we're taking the Avengers Trait Out. We're putting yep. the Deadpool Core Trait in. Okay. Um, the the card we, is flame on with a question mark and exclamation point. <laughs> so that? I've seen the first half of the movie so far. I started it today. Okay. So I get it. Yeah, um, I get it too. But right, I so don't Aven- really know how to read okay. this card for, for Scott. So what he's saying, the original card is a four cost Avengers assemble. Okay. Right? Correct. With the max once per round, ready each Avenger character you control until the end of the phase. Each Avenger character gets plus one, plus one. So he's saying replace the word Avengers with Deadpool with core. Deadpool core. Gotcha. Right. So, so ready each Deadpool core character you control until the end of the phase. Each Deadpool core character gets plus one plus one, and it's no longer called Avengers Assemble. It's called Flame On. Question mark. Gotcha. So, Got it. Gotcha. Got it. Yep. It's good. Got it. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Do you want me to go back over it? Think, no. no. Take we'll go, the other we're, okay. we're, we're just gonna. De- we're we're Deadpool in this. We don't care what this yeah, episode okay. sounds like. That, that works <laughs> for me. Yep. You can go ahead and read the next uh, Yeah, go to the second one. Yeah, go to the next one. We're, we're going to call an audible, and I'm going to do the next one, too. Yeah, because this is all from the same person. So. Maximum I- effort. <laughs> piercing Strike. Uh, so we're going to redo Piercing Strike, but it has the uh, limitation that there's one per deck, which is very common in those pool cards. I like that. The original is uh, two cost with three damage, but the poolized version is going to be a three cost with six damage. And the card art is of Deadpool, but with Wolverine claws attached to his forearm. So it's a Deadpool piercing strike. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. Yeah. If you've seen the movie, you get it. If you haven't seen the movie, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott. Scott had no idea. How he had no idea he was going to spoil the movie. I didn't either. Normal life. All right. No, I've seen enough. There are so many clips and... Uh, yeah like sure, images sure. and stuff that have come online that there's a lot of things that I'm like fully aware are going to be in the movie. It, it fine. Okay. All right. Good. <laughs> so that, that's good. It's, it's a level up piercing strike. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I like that. I like that they limited it to one per deck. It feels like cut upper, right. Or mm. some of those other ones that are very quick yep. adaptations and they had that yeah, same limitation. Yeah. I like how they did that. Okay. I'm looking up the original. You're going to take the next one there, Steve. Yeah, so the next one is a browbeat. So the original browbeat's a two cost attack that says play only if your identity has the adventure trait. The hero action deal two damage to the villain, deal X additional damage to the villain to a maximum of three, where X is equal to the villain's stage number. Oh, I never play this card. Okay, so the new version says browbeat play only if your identity has the Avenger, which is struck through. Okay, so we've we've have Deadpool editing it, just drawn a line over Avenger, and it says any trait. But the hero action, <laughs> deal three damage to the villain, deal 2x additional damage to the villain to a maximum of three struck through with 100 written over it. So maximum of 100 where x is equal to the villain stage number. That's okay. amazing. Yeah, so they just totally cranked this thing to uh, 11. So we're 100. Steve, I guess. we need to now make a scenario with 100 agendas or 100 villains. Right, hundred levels, <laughs> hundred villain levels. Yeah, <laughs> um, well, well, only fifty. It's two x, two x. Yeah, so we only oh, need true. fifty levels. Yeah. Oh, then okay. it's easier. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not so bad. Steve, you can crank that out in a weekend. Yeah, I'm done with it already. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be so much fun. Yeah. All right, next card. All right, next we have at tech team. A support with the shield trait costs three with a physical resource. It uses three attack counters. So it enters play with three counters. And when those are gone, discard this card. Action. Exhaust at attack team and remove one attack counter from it. Deal three damage to an enemy. Or action. Exhaust at attack team and discard this card to stun all enemies in play. Oh. Whoa. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like. I, it's like attack, attack. I like the the, the way they've written the name of the card. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um. Wow. Mm-hmm. May goose to this one. This is good. Yeah, might be a little too strong, but uh, yeah. Okay. 
Wow. Only when yeah. it's done 17 it's people. So, yeah, who cares? <laughs> no. That's right. Now, maybe it should say uh, exhaust and like remove from the game to do all the stun mm. everybody. But, yeah. but hey. Yes. Or, or to stun all enemies engaged with you maybe is uh, would uh, even be a nice limitation. So it's not quite so overwhelming in multiplayer. But you know what? Or, <laughs> or you make it where you have to exhaust three. You have to spend three counters. So you can't use it for the yeah. regular attacks. You got to blow, you know, you got to use. The, oh, use that makes more sense. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. you could attack twice and then stun everything the way it's written. But it's still or good. You I still it, like it. Or you leave it as is super overpowered and it's awesome. I don't care. It's Deadpool. And you, yeah. Rinse yeah. and repeat like that stupid, like, champion characters can't get hurt card that we. Oh, yeah. They edit. They they banned from yeah. us because of us. Yeah. yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, well, just use, this, it. we'll use this one game and then, yeah, no one yeah, will ever sure. use it again. Um, Awesome. Love it. Scott, what's next? All right. Next one is Talk to the Hand. This is an adaptation of the card Get Behind Me, a one-cost protection event that cancels a treachery um, when it's revealed and the villain attacks you instead. But here, uh, since the in the image of that card, it looks like Miss Marvel is a little upset and she's holding up her hand saying, Talk to the Hand, boys. So it's a perfect fit. It's, it it no, doesn't have us adapting the... The card at all. It's just a pool so card. Nothing that does changes. That. It just turns an art different. Okay. Just better art. That's yeah. Cool. Nice. Just better. <laughs> just using the art and uh, talk to the hand. Yeah, that's good. Talk to the hand, boys. Oh, boy. Is it? Um, okay. Is this a poolized card? Uh, I think it's already a pool card, right? <laughs> uh, it's it's get in front of me is the pool in front card, of me. right? It, yeah, it yeah. throws your ally in front of a. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the attack funny. and cancels the treachery. So we're just changing the art on that card. On this I, I think card, it's on, you, on the original. I think it's or on the original. The get behind me. Okay. Card. The original mm -hmm. art, but on a pool version. Yes. All right. But a new name. Very confusing. Love it. Okay. Next one. Take it away, Steve. All right. So the original card is get over here, which is a zero cost attack. The hero action deal damage to a minion. And if you, if you have the aerial trait, engage that enemy. Well, the pool eyes card very reminiscent of what we were just talking about. It's called Go Over There. So instead of Get Over Here, it's Go Over There. Cost <laughs> zero with the text action. Deal one damage to a minion. Choose another player. The minion engages that player. Love it. With the little I theme. I love that so Deadpool much. being his cowardly self. Here he lures an enemy into attacking his friends and said, I, yeah, it's, it's, why do we not have this card, actually? I don't know. <laughs> That's exactly right. This right? card doesn't uh, even exist. Yeah, all right. yeah, this is great. Go over. I mean, it hits on this hits on all levels. So, that, Scott, this wasn't your card, was it? No, it was not. Okay, okay. <laughs> I flip and love this card. Yeah, me too. All it's right. great. All right. So, anyone who knows me and has played this game with me will know that I really appreciate this next one, which is Cussing Blowhard. Oh. <laughs> this comes from Concussive Blow. It's a three cost event. Confuse an enemy. If you've cussed since the end of your last turn, deal three damage to that enemy. If you've sustained at least five damage, stun that enemy. Oh, so good. So good. I talk like a sailor, so this is great for me. I'll, I'll be having you print this one up for me, Steve. Three copies, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. Do, um, do you care to now, interpret the... Flavor the uh, text. Yeah, you got to read the flavor text. Steve, would you like me to read it in its intent or beeping myself? <laughs> All right. I, yeah. <laughs> bleep you. Bleep, bleep. I will bleep you up so hard, you dirty bleep, bleep. <laughs> oh, God, this is so much fun. Now, Daniel, I feel like. Yeah. I feel like this was Scott's card. I think so. This was, this was one of my like, cards, yes. Yes. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. I feel like I've heard Scott say cussing blowhard as just a term. I think I've heard him say bleep you, bleep, and bleep, bleep. So. <laughs> That was after you gave him the shark job. Oh, well, yeah, right. okay. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't uncalled for. I'm just saying I've heard him say it. <laughs> yeah. uh, nice. That's good. It, it's a good card. I, it's great. Great card, so, Scott. Yep. Thank you. And I like, I like how it plays off the Merc with the mouth, the whole thing, right? So, yes. Custom blowhard. So good. All right. Uh, Scott, you're next. Yeah, the next one. <clears throat> for my greater good. This is a play on For Justice. It is a two-cost event. 
it uh, so for justice is traditionally a two cost remove three threat from a scheme four threat if you pay for it with a mental resource this instead says it's also a two cost two cost event but we're going to place up to four threat on the main scheme then search your deck and discard pile for an upgrade or support that costs equal to the threat you place this way and put it into play the flavor text is don't mind me i'm just here for the goods daddy needs a new big screen tv carry on <laughs> This is great, too. <laughs> or my greater good. Here's some threat. Give me my cards. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Feels that's the idea. Feels... Boys, yeah. carry on. You can do whatever you want to do right now. I am. I'm here to to break and take. <laughs> Not break. Just take. Just take. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I mean, I mean, Deadpool makes sometimes make life harder for his allies. So it does. Seem exactly. To fit perfectly. Yeah. It, no, he just shows up with a real justice player who takes the four threat right off after he gets himself exactly. an Avengers Mansion. It's all fine. It's it's probably it's probably way too powerful. Um, yeah, <laughs> or, uh, it should probably be like search your deck and discard pile for an upgrade or support that costs equal to half the threat you place this way. Um, that way, you have to place up to four to get like a two cost upgrade into play or something like that. Or, um, or like. Uh... Put up to two threat, and you can get that much discount or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. some sort of limit. But, but I mean, I it know. is a it's it is great. a two cost event, so you're already paying three cards from your hand and putting threat on to go get the card. This is one that I this is also my card, <laughs> so uh, I'm critical yeah. of my own creation. I, I say there's no limit, but I do like I do like the idea that it's twice what or it's half of what you put. So you could have put up to if you want an adventures mansion, put eight threat on the main. Put scheme. eight threat put on, on the main scheme. Yeah, yeah. which I'm. In the in my mind, I was thinking of uh, Deadpool's card that his attachment to the main scheme that for every mm. acceleration icon, right, it increases the threat threshold. So you can actually have like these really huge threat thresholds on the scheme because of that card. So I felt yeah. like it played into his ability to to put huge yeah. amounts of threat on there and be fine. Oh, it's definitely a theme hit for Deadpool. Yeah, it's <laughs> causing yeah. problems. It's fun. Yeah, but it's super super What's fun. Next? Give us a nut kick, Steve. Okay, so this is Swinging Nuts Kick. Oh, boy. Uh, it's a remix of Swinging Web Kick. Okay, so not only are you swinging in for major damage, but you do the villain dirty by kicking him in the nuts. Great. Uh, hero Action Attack. Deal six damage to an enemy. If the enemy is male, the enemy is stunned. And the flavor text is oof. Wow. First off, okay. flavor text is a home run. Um, yeah, absolutely. Now, okay. Word on the street is a kick to this region is painful to uh, all genders. To all, yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. Um, I, yeah. I think there's an element of comedic, you know, but like a, in a Deadpool movie. But, yeah. but I do like, yeah, okay, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, how many uh, do you guys remember America's Funniest Home Videos? Like half of those oh, were a hit to the groin, right? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, all right, it feels appropriate <laughs> for Deadpool. <laughs> Very much so. Yeah. yeah. And I like it that it actually does less damage than swinging web kick. <laughs> swinging web kick does, yeah. This, this does remind me very much of when he tries to kick Colossus in the nuts and then breaks his oh, leg. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. Yep. Oh, golly. All right. So next we have Headpool, but this one is born from Mockingbird. Right? Am I getting that right, Steve, here based on the... The arrows. That's yes. what it looks like to me. So okay. Like, yeah. Now, so the next five are all from the same person. And they kind of have a but, similar approach. Okay. But we have a head pool already, right? Yep. Okay. All right. So this head pool is an ally. Cost three. Attacks two with one consequential damage. Thwart zero. Health two. And ability when head pool enters play. Discard the top card of the encounter deck and count the boost icons. If there are zero to one boost icons, deal three damage to yourself. If there are two plus boost icons, deal three damage to an enemy. Deadpool flavor, heads up. It might be a bad idea. Uh, art concept is the headpool midair chomping on a villain's weapon. Theme, the unpredictable nature of headpool reflects in his chaotic end. Yeah. Love. I mean, he is a zombie head. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I get that he's a... Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like it. it. It's good. It's awesome. I like the risk reward. That seems to be a Deadpool thing. Mm -hmm. Very much mm -hmm. so. All right. We also have... Uh, the next one by this individual is from Haymaker being converted into a card called Pool Punch. It is it is an event, a two cost. It's an aggression event. So Haymaker is a uh, basic. 
or I'm sorry, the resource type here is physical, and the effect is deal three damage to an enemy. Discard the top card of the encounter deck and count the boost icons. If there are two or more, deal two additional damage. Otherwise, deal one damage to yourself. The flavor text is, let's see if this one's a knockout or a flop. The art concept is Deadpool delivering a massive punch with a POW in comic style lettering. And uh, the theme is that this punch can pack extra power or backfire, as only Deadpool would accept, which makes complete sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, I like the... Uh, I like it. Yeah, I like the flavor texture. It's going to be... A, I mean, you're going to hit for four or you're going to punch yourself. So, yeah. That's right. I got our flop. Uh, I like this discard thing going on with these cards. So there's a third one here. Uh, it was emergency. We're gonna, he's calling it, did I leave the oven on? It says zero, <laughs> zero cost event, resource type, energy, <laughs> effect. When the villain attacks, discard the top card of the encounter deck and count the boost icons. Uh, a zero to a one, reduce the damage by two, or two plus boost icons that deal two damage to the villain. With the Deadpool flavor, I may have made things worse or I may have saved the day. Who could say? <laughs> with, wow. with the art... Deadpool distractedly holding an oven mitt while dodging a villain's attack. Uh, with the theme, whether it protects or counterattacks, Deadpool distracts chaos. His distracted chaos shines. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, it's time to replace strength with chimichanga power. Ooh. So it's a resource card type. The effect, generate two resources. After you play this card, describe the top card of the encounter deck and count the boost icons. Zero to one boost, heal a damage. Two plus, take a damage. Deadpool flavor, chimichangas heal the soul, but they're also spicy. Art concept, <laughs> Deadpool eating a chimichanga with flames and smoke coming out of his ears. Uh, the theme is, of course, Deadpool's beloved chimichangas have unpredictable side effects. Yeah, th this is really good because I, like uh, I was just looking at, I think it's Deadpool versus Deadpool. There's a cover art where Deadpool's at a chimichanga truck and there's another Deadpool in there. And the one Deadpool's eating a chimichanga, but there's a dynamite stick in the chimichanga. So... <laughs> He's he's eating the chimichanga. It's about to explode in his face. So, yeah, perfect. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. All right, last one, Scott. Bring us home. All right, last one. We're uh, we're going to convert the OG ultimate ally, Nick Fury, into a card called Unicorn Ride. So this is a, <laughs> an event. It's a four cost. I can, I can like, visualize the art for this. That's This is yeah. perfect. Yeah. Effect. When you play Unicorn Ride, discard the top card of the encounter deck and count the boost icons. Zero boost icons. Heal all damage from a hero of your choice. Wow. One to two boost icons. Ready your hero and draw two cards. Three or more boost icons. Stun the villain and all minions. Oh. Yeah. The flavor text is... Rainbows, sparkles, and violence. What's not to love? <laughs> the art concept is Deadpool riding a glittery unicorn over a battlefield, leaving rainbows in his wake. Uh, wow. I love this. It is. <laughs> it's like everything you want out of a pool card, right? It's, it's like the big game swinging sort of events, kind of like uh, Bombs Away. The Bomb, or, yep. Uh, or, yeah, that's what it is, The Bomb. Um, yeah, the bomb or pool cleaning. One where he cleans yeah, the what, pool. Are they, what is that one? Yeah, the one where he's cleaning the pool. Pool party. No, it feels like I don't know. Those. Yeah. Well, those were our uh, poolized cards. Love them. Now, what we're going to do, even if somebody submitted more than one uh, entry, there, it's only one per person, regardless of the number of cards they made. Um, uh, there was a few of them where the people did not want to be part of the contest, right? Which is great, like Scott's. Uh, I take it you already have the pool pack. Uh, I do. Yeah. Okay. I didn't think you were boycotting pool for some reason. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we have eight current contestants out of all of that. How no. many pool packs are we going to give away? Not one, Steve. Not, not even not two, one. Steve. Not even two. What? But not four either. Oh, okay. So we're not that generous. But I think we should give three of them away. Yeah, let's give three away. That sounds like a pool party. Uh, yeah, so we have three packs to give away. One pack is coming directly from us. That is our uh, thank you Patreon Patreon supporters. They are supplying a pack through them, through us. Great. Nice. Uh, our second pack is going to come from uh, my Twitch, Tuesday night Twitch buddy, 
Bill, the board game lawyer, said he has wow. a pack that he wants to give away to his fellow minions. So you can thank Bill, the board game lawyer, for that. Please go and like and subscribe to his YouTube page or his Twitch page. You know, he's not doing this for likes and subscribes. He did not ask me to do that. But, hey, he's making content. Go out there. That's right. Show your support for him the way when he shows his support for us. And this um, is not his first act of generosity. No, it is not. It is not. It is not. So thanks again, Bill. Okay, and the third pack is going to come from friend of the show, Will. You know him as Funky Monkey Monk oh. or Thunderball. Uh, now, Will has a friendly local game store called Meeple Professionals. And he's giving us a pack so that we can give it away. Um, we know Will. Will's a great guy. He wants to support the community. He's got a little shop out there. I'm going to link his store so you can go on, check out Meeple Professionals. It's in New York. I think he ships everywhere. He's got content. He's a great guy. He's been at Con of Heroes. He's been at Con of the Rings. You know, I've sat down and played many games with him. Bill, uh, Daniel, I think you have as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're getting a pack from Funky Monkey Monk and the Meeple Professionals. So um, Cool. Yeah. It's Amazing. really awesome. Yeah. Uh, so... Check out his link. It's meepleprofessionals.com, but I'll put a link in the show notes as well. And so that's three cool Deadpool packs to give away. All right, let's get to this, shall we? Do let's. Computer, give me a random number between one and eight. There's a number between one and eight. It's five. Five. Five is Yazan. Yazan. Oh, he's a uh, Yazan K. He's on Discord with us, right? He is active he is. and wonderful, and asks great questions and gives good insights. He's he is fun to read. Yes, he's on. There he is. He's always in our uh, Critical mm -hmm. Encounters chat on the MCM yep. Discord. Oh, great. And, and he and he appreciated my origin story, so I to give him this <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah nice okay <laughs> <laughs> thanks he's on for all you contribute yes thank you um reach out to us i'll reach out to you so we can get some shipping info all right computer give us a number between one and seven There's a number between one and seven. It's three. Three is Matt Mate Takeus. M A T E. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Mate to Cox, maybe. Yes. I, um. Uh, I I don't know how to pronounce that. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure this out. Hold on. Okay. We're gonna do this live. Uh, Takach. Is how you uh, pronounce his right. last name, Takach. Okay. And yeah, it's uh I'm gonna I'm gonna say Mate. Where do mate we think it's what, what's the origin of this? Um, there's a bunch of like accents over vowels and stuff. I I Hungarian? It's mm, okay. Okay. I guess it's maybe something in the Balkans. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So we're going very yeah. international here with our wins. Let me know so if far. I'm right, uh Mate, and if that I mean, it's the same accent over the A and the E. So, but uh, there you have it. I, okay. I, I'm going Hungarian and grateful to him for listening and being yeah, part of it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's our first time seeing this name. Excellent. Yep. All right. And our third pack. Computer, give me a number between one and six. number between one and six it's five five is oh oh okay i've been saying this name wrong a long time uh and now i know how to say it correctly moss t moss moss timmons moss timmons right another really active member and contributor to the discord also Whoa. Also lives far away in the shipping. Oh, boy, you guys are making me ship all over the place. <laughs> this is truly an international effort. 
Yeah. Um, okay, great. Steve was uh, going to take that Patreon money and <laughs> do like a family vacation in Iceland. But now, yeah, now I gotta send he's things shooting. To, yeah. Australia. Right. But hunger. Garrett, we don't know where the other one is. Okay. I think well, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's far. We're sending it there. So uh, great. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for your entries and hope you had fun making the cards. We had fun reading the cards. And happy pools giving, everyone. Happy pools giving, yes. Happy pools giving. And congratulations. All right. Well, it's too late for this contest. There will be others. And you can email us at criticalencounterspod at gmail.com. We are Critical Encounters on Facebook. You can find our YouTube, Twitch, or Patreon by searching for Critical Encounters Podcast. And on Discord, we are Vardane, Big Foam Loaf, and a Lexicon. If you like our show, tell your friends. If you don't like our show, tell your enemies. Dead. Take us out. With great power comes great irresponsibility. All right, it is uh, AT Tech Team. So this is right. from Tech Team, right? This is from. All right. So AT AT Tech Team is I think, a. I think this is, is a, at as in like AT AT. Uh, it's either that or do you remember Mars Attacks? At Ack. Yes. At Ack. At Ack. Yes. Team. Okay. Yeah. I like that's probably it. That makes sense. All right.